What's up? The Comment Coalition here once again for another video for you guys today. Today will be a Blu-ray hunting video. Yes, I know. I'm primarily a toy hunter. But if you've been a long time subscriber of my channel, I've had plenty of Blu-ray hunts. If you want to, you can go check them out. I have a whole little section just for my Blu-ray hunting videos. But yeah, I love Blu-rays as well. I love collecting Blu-rays. Movies have always been my first passion. Um, so I just want to get out there today, check Best Buy. I know they had a couple of steel books come out, like the um, Beetlejuice steel book and stuff. See if they still have that available. It's Sunday right now, so who knows? Also, Walmart, I saw on Wet Movie One's channel that Walmart is getting in these Blu-rays and like old like VHS type slip covers. I'm a big VHS guy. I'm a big 90s baby, big into retro and nostalgia. So Blu-rays with like VHS slip covers, like I'm all in. And they're like five, seven bucks. Like sign me up. Um these companies know what they're doing when they put out um these same old titles over and over again with just new different slip covers because it draws me right in like all the time literally like some movies i own a couple like three or four times just for different slip covers like i'm a slip cover maniac uh, something's wrong with me check me into the insane asylum but um i saw a few movies recently let's go ahead and talk about that i saw venom if you want to know what i thought about venom you can go ahead and watch um my uh, it's a toy hunting video, but it also says Venom um, movie vlog in the title. Go check that out. Um, wasn't too fond of Venom. I'll just leave it at that. I wasn't too fond of Venom. Um, I recently also saw Friend Request. I know Friend Request gets a lot of lot of bad rap. It's not a great movie at all, but for some reason, it's one of this Halloween season's um guilty pleasures i guess would be the word because i actually kind of enjoyed friend request i don't know why it was my first time seeing it I saw that the other day also i've been revisiting all the nightmare on elm streets and the saw movies so right now i'm up to like i'm about to start on saw 4 today and nightmare on elm street 4 today i um revisited one two three on both of those um movie series right there and i'm enjoying them so far of course saw one will always be the best and as far as um nightmare on elm street goes i'm digging all of them of course i've seen them all a thousand times but i like to rewatch them every halloween so i'm definitely enjoying that as well um but i'm gonna hit up best buy walmart and we'll see what we find so just join me on the hunt so over here over here at best buy now it looks like some of the steel books are gonna be gone but we still have the American Werewolf in London still book over here, so I'll definitely be picking this up. They have Misery over here for $7.99. I would prefer like a still book or something a little more special for me to pick it up, but they have it. Watch the Revenant. So to my surprise over here at Best Buy, it looks like they're like, I don't know what they're doing. Are they getting rid of the movie section? Because it's bare as hell over here really there they have misery over here for $7.99 I would prefer like a steel book or something a little more special for me to pick it up but they have it watch the revenant I'm over here at Target now So they have all these new DVD covers over here. Well, at least I believe they're new. I wish they're on Blu-ray though. Um, they also have like Funko's now starting to put out um, special little boxes that include little mini pocket pops with these movies. So they got all types of um, Walmart steel books over here. And right here, I see what I need. Tucker versus and Dale versus Evil over here on steel book. <laughs> I 
this shit. The single long edition to the Nightmare Before Christmas Digibook. That's pretty dope. Pretty different. All right, I am now back in the man cave and bam, got me a nice little stack of Blu-rays there. Yes, all of it is horror indeed. You know how I am about my horror right before Halloween. But first, if you're not aware, um, I'm not sure about other stores, but Best Buy, just like last year, do you remember when um, they started putting, close to Halloween, they started putting out horror movies with like an exclusive little cover art card. Like they had Chucky and The Fly and different stuff and they kind of like looked like, um, what is it, Day of the Dead Skeletons? What are the Sugar Skulls or something? So yeah, this year, this is kind of like the art they're putting out, which is really dope. I don't know if you can get a good look at that right there. But of course, this is the classic Teen Wolf. I am trying to convince my girlfriend as we speak to watch this movie, but she absolutely refuses because she just doesn't think it's going to be good. But I'm trying to tell her, this is a classic. It's a feel-good movie. It's not a horror movie. It's Teen Wolf, like... It's Teen Wolf. If you haven't seen Teen Wolf like my girlfriend, then I suggest you not be so hard-headed and you go check it out right now. It's definitely a dope movie. Michael J. Fox did a great job. I mean, this and, of course, Back to the Future makes you think of Michael J. Fox. When you think of Michael J. Fox, Teen Wolf, Back to the Future. So, also, oh yeah, this was only like, uh, what was this, $5.99? $5.99. Also for five ninety nine, they had Cat Eyes. Now, I remember watching this movie as a kid. I don't remember, like, really anything about the movie. Except I remember this little troll. Like, this troll, and I believe the cat was trying to stop the troll from killing this little girl. There was this little nasty little troll imp monster. And I think he kills a bird or something. I don't know. It's just these visuals I have in my head from this. So... I picked this up. I can't wait to watch it. It's a Stephen King um, novel or adaptation. So I definitely can't wait to watch this. And I believe that's the little girl from like the Poltergeist or something, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Or who is this? Actually, this is Drew Barrymore. Yeah, this is Drew Barrymore. I'm tripping. But yeah, I can't wait to go ahead and check this out again. Like I said, watched it a long time ago. Can't remember anything about it except some little troll thing. If that's even the right movie. Next up, we got Jigsaw. Watch this last night. I gotta say, I kind of enjoyed it. I had um, its ups and downs. Um, some of the acting wasn't the best, but the death scenes were pretty cool. I love, I like the death traps. Overall, it was an enjoyable movie. I didn't think it was as good as, of course, the original, like Saw One or Saw Two, and I don't even think I've seen like Saw Seven and Saw Six. So yeah. But I think it's an enjoyable movie. I know a lot of people are, are giving it shit. But I would say give it a chance. If you're a horror movie fan, why not check it out? I enjoyed watching it for what it was worth. Not the greatest movie ever. Not the best in the Saw franchise. But an enjoyable film nonetheless. Also, just like the Michael J. Fox movie over here, Teen Wolf. We have The Last House on the Left. Now, I feel like I've seen The Last House on the Left before. Or maybe a remake of The Last House on the Left. I just remember something about The Last House somewhere. But when I look on the back of the movie, it says this is a 19... What is this? 1972. So I definitely don't remember seeing a 1972 movie called Last, Last House on the Left. I don't even know if I heard of it. But it says it's a landmark of horror on the back. So I cannot wait to check it out. It definitely sounds interesting. I'm sure... All of you watching this is, have already seen it. Don't spoil it. I'm going to watch this sometime this week. Next up, one of my favorite um, horror movies right here. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. You know, the one with the pretty lady. Um, Leatherface. <laughs> Definitely a kooky movie. It's kind of crazy and weird. And creepy. it's creepy, weird, funny, different. And that's why I like it. It was it was just different. I don't know how to explain it. If you haven't seen it, definitely need to go see it. I'm really 
Really loving the cover art on this. I had to pick it up. This was also $5.99 as well. So definitely a steal. Now I didn't pick up Child's Play Part 2. Simply because I already have Child's Play a few times on Blu-ray. I really like the covers art, cover art and stuff. But I didn't pick it up. Instead I picked up Hell Knight. It's the first time on Blu-ray. It stars Linda Blair from um, The Exorcist and stuff. Um, we also watched this recently. I thought it was okay i wouldn't call it a classic um i could have done without watching it honestly um it was watchable somewhat enjoyable but definitely nothing special the cover is definitely what sold me on the movie um the movie itself i didn't really care for it that much but hope you guys enjoyed this blu-ray hunting video I know I did. I got me a nice little stack of blues. I'm going to sit back, get me some snacks, and go ahead and enjoy these movies. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all my new Blu-ray hunts. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, you have a good day, YouTube.